good morning children yesterday in the previous class we have learnt about the adjectives and their degrees of comparison positive degree comparative degree and superlative degrees so on the page number 8 there is a list of these uh, adjectives and their degrees of comparison yesterday you also read in the passage so i told you to find out the adjectives and write the other degrees of comparison for those for whom it is difficult we'll write now so the first one is the biggest the biggest so already we have that word in the on the page number 8 big bigger biggest then the climate was cool so cool is a adjective cool then cooler and coolest coolest then we have pleasant 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 then more pleasant more pleasant and most pleasant most pleasant okay then we have tall so tall tall taller tallest tallest then we have large large larger largest largest then we have small only we have on page number 8 then sweet 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 sweeter sweetest sweetest then we have the beautiful beautiful more beautiful most beautiful then close 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 the closes closes happy happy can you see happier happier happiest
then we have late late later latest so these are the degrees of comparison now we will learn the opposite words second bit on page number 9 Read the following words. Each pair has one word, and the other word is the opposite in meaning. So, big, small, dark, light, happy, unhappy, large, small, live, die, long, short, near, far, open, close. start stop thick thin appear and disappear common and uncommon so these are the opposite words so now you can see the bit fill in the blanks the elephant's eyes are small but its body is dash so first bit is big first one is big the animals were happy in the beginning after jackal entered the forest they became dash second bit dash unhappy unhappy the giraffe's neck is very long but its tail is dash dash short long and short mangoes are sweet but lemons are sour 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 The coconut is a tall tree, but the guava tree is a dash tree. Short, short. Okay, these are the opposite words. Okay, you learn this uh, second bit well. Children, now take page number ten. Take page number ten. Here we have the first bit about the children's age, height, and weight. See, whenever you speak about age difference, you have to use the words old, young, older, younger, oldest. Youngest. Okay. If you are talking about the height, you have to use the words tall, short, taller, shorter, tallest, shortest. So when you are speaking about weight comparison, you should use the words heavy, heavier, heaviest. So these are the words you should remember when you compare about their ages or before their age or yeah this is age old and young it tells about speaks about the age tall and short speaks about their height heavy the word shows about their weight so these things you have to remember when you want to compare the age or their height then their weight so these are the three things you have to remember always this is very important so now there is a list here list of the names of the students and their 
edges are given height is given and weight also is given so when you compare you have to use these words when you are using in comparison of the age you should use old or young old or young for the age tall and short for the their height then we have to use heavy for their weight so these things very important now for example here in the table you see harini harini's age is 11 harini's age is 11 years seshigiri's age is 12 years so harini is 11 years seshigiri is 12 years now we have used these words old or young okay now who is young who is young harini is young so younger than seshigiri why young means takwa young means takwa old is equa older okay old but actually here we don't have that meaning but when you are comparing you have to use that okay so you can say that in this way sheshigari is older than harani why comparison between two between two between who harani and sheshigari harani and sheshigari harani and sheshigari Who is big? Sheshigiri is bigger than Harini. So now, when you say this, you can use the name. Harini is Harini is younger than Sheshigiri. Younger than Sheshigiri. When you say Sheshigiri is older than Harini, you understand? Chinnu varan apne mo, younger varali, pedda varan chinnu apne mo. ఓల్డర్ అనేటువంటి మాటను వాడుతూ ఉండాలి సో నా హియర్ శేషగిరి ఇస్ ట్వెల్ అఖిల్ ఆల్సో ఈజ్ ట్వెల్ ఇయర్స్ ఓన్లీ దే ఆర్ సేమ్ ఏజ్ దే వాట్ వాట్ యూ షుడ్ యూస్ శేషగిరి ఈజ్ యాజ్ ఓల్డ్ యాజ్ యాజ్ ఓల్డ్ యాజ్ యూ షుడ్ నో దట్ యాజ్ ఓల్డ్ యాజ్ యాజ్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ యూ షుడ్ సే as and as as old as so we have to use the words with the equal you should say as and as as and as that's so that also you have to use the, the positive degree you should use the positive degree when you use as and as as and as you should use the positive degree not the comparative degree that you have to no so sheshigiri is as old as akila now akila is 12 bhaskar raj is only 10 years now who is older akila is older bhaskar raj is younger he is younger they are not equal so when they are not equal you should not say as and as okay you can use but with not See now, for example, Bhaskar Raj is not as old as, okay, not, not, not so old as, not so old, okay, not as. Can you use both the ways are correct? Bhaskar Raj is not so old, not so old, okay. When you want a smaller one first, you should use not so, not so in a positive degree. When you want to use the positive degree you can use bhaskar raj is not so old as akila okay you should use as and as not as you can also use not as not as okay you should use not so 
Not so as when you want to use that. Okay, in the next class we'll uh, speak about uh, their height and weight also. Okay, up to now you try to use these words. So learn these words: old, older, oldest, young, younger, youngest, tall, taller, tallest, short, shorter, shortest, heavy, heavier, heaviest. Okay, children. So learn these uh, adjectives: positive degree. Comparative degree and superlative degree, and if you are able, you write these sentences. Otherwise, we'll see it in the next class. Okay? Have a nice time.